Hey there, Cohort 2 students. Moody, Corbin, some Fly, some Upeha. Hello, students. Uh, I just want to make a quick video talking about um, some targets for your Fly Year 2. This will also include some conversations about Christmas break, when do we come back, expectations, funding, and if you're somebody who's targeting the U.S., when do you get to go? These are complicated, and so I decided that instead of having a meeting where I took an hour of your time and we needed to figure out how I would get there or you get to Yabin, how about I just make a video and make it simple? And so I decided today to shoot a video on this, and so yeah, let's just jump into it. Some basic targets for fly year two. And I'm using the target because the reality is sometimes things change. Sometimes we aim for something, you know, you aim to pass your classes, but you fail. We aim for certain Duolingo scores and we get above or below. We aim for things, it's not always perfect. And so here we go. Uh, student target levels for fly year two. Okay, first of all, here's some important dates. And these are for my Corbin students, which the majority of you, this would fall into it. Fall semester, uh, semester one or fall term for Corbin is September um, through December 10th. That's the last day for Corbin and Fly. Of course, Moody will be done by then and Upeha will be going longer, but that's, that's, the, that's the end of the term. And so it says here, leave dorms Friday, December 10th. If you finished your classes and you check out with Ian and Selvi, you may leave the dorms on December 10th. Moody students have a different situation, but for my Corbin or Fly students, you can leave the dorms on Friday, December the 10th. If you are in cohort two, which would be my Espeha, my Abangan students, people who are enrolled in Corbin classes, living at Kimiri or Upeha students, um, then you have until Monday the 13th. You cannot stay in the dorms over break. Uh, this is going to be something that we're working out with Mom and Bapa Yali. It's true for the students here at Yavin's campus too. We are going to have Christmas break is for most of us four or five weeks. That's way too many weeks for you to be um, in the dorms. We won't have security. We won't have RAs or dorm parents. And so you are not permitted to stay in the dorms. And so uh, everybody needs to leave on the appropriate days. Uh, Moody students, as I said, can leave earlier. Corbin students, the earliest you can leave is December 10th. But Corbin students, you need to plan to be out of the dorm and checked out with your dorm parents on Monday the 13th. Upeha students have a slightly different situation because they have classes until the 17th. And so we'll, we'll work that out with you guys. Also, I know that there is some question about will you go to Jakarta and study in person or will you be online next semester? I leave those things to Boxos. But in general, those are the dates, okay? English testing. So for those of you targeting U.S. universities, we do Duolingo testing twice a semester. We do it at the middle and at the end of the term. Now, this is for everybody, for Moody, for Corbin, um, even for... Uh, even for my Upeha students. We are supposed to do, let me write, write that again, we're supposed to do the NWE PA test every semester. But since it is a very long test, we didn't want to give the NWEA while you were busy with classes, especially since Moody students were here really early. So as a gift, we skipped the NWEA assessment for fall 2021. Woohoo! But this does mean that we will be doing the NWEA in January before Corbin and Moody classes begin. Now, Upeha students, you might be in um, you might be in Jakarta, so I mean, you might not even be here. But in general, I just wanted you guys to know that we are going to do NWEA testing, and we're going to do it before school starts, so it's on a day that you have no schoolwork. So let's continue. Uh, other important dates: spring term. So we're going to talk about Corbin students and a little bit of everybody here. But the basic plan for most of you being Corbin students is that on January 10th, which is a Monday, you're going to come back to the dorms with a swab or a SWEB test, and you're going to do that in the afternoon. And yes, you need to pay for your own SWEB test or swab test, and you cannot come back to fly without it. So uh, make sure that you've saved some of your money. On January 11th, your first day back, yes, we're going to get rid of your NWA testing, and then we're going to do government reports. Not exactly a really fun welcome back, but stuff that we need to do so you can enjoy the rest of the semester. 
And then on January 12th, U.S. time, which is actually January 13th, here time, Corbin begins. And the following week on the 19th, Moody begins. So those are some of the important spring dates. Some targets. If you're a year one student, you know, we wanted you guys to get a 95 Duolingo to keep good grades, no Fs, and get admitted to a university program. Well, all of you guys are year two. And so your targets, just so you're clear, is that we need you to get a 110 Duolingo and to become a traditional undergraduate student or TUG, which means you have the right English level above 110. And you need to keep a 2.5 GPA. That is really important for your funding situation. So it doesn't matter whether you're Kebupatan or whether you are SDM funded, 2.5 GPA is the standard. Now remember, if you get all A's, that's a 4.0. If you get all B's, that's a 3.0. If you get all C's, that's a 2.0. All D's is a 1.0 and all F's is a zero. But remember we talked about GPA and calculating your GPA. It's really important that you understand that one F can really change all of your grades. So the important thing is to just to focus on getting A and B grades as much as possible. But yes, your targets for spring is all of you, I want you over 110 at the end of spring. Not at the beginning in January, but at the end in April. So if you're not working really hard on your English language by doing kind of some extra steps, practicing your English, please continue to work hard. Please take the steps you need to test, to take, sorry. Okay, if you have classes that you're failing with Fly, with Corbin, with Moody, with Espeja, I'm sorry, Upeja, geez, and you get an F or a D grade, you need to know that this is very serious. Um, it's not just serious to Fly acting like parents. This is serious to the people who fund you. And so if you have any Fs or Ds, you will likely be on probation next term. Probation means that you might have a weekly tutor or at least somebody at Fly who checks your grades with you weekly. Why? Because if you fail multiple classes, you will be below a 2.5 GPA and you will be out of the program, lose your funding. It can be very, very serious. In fact, even just getting one F, depending on your government sponsor, they might want to get involved and they'll be asking us for information. Why are you failing? What are we doing about it? Is the student really smart enough? Do they have what it takes? Are they focused? What's the matter? And so I'm sharing this with you, not to add stress and make everybody fear, but if when your grades come back in, you have Ds, Fs, or you're below a 2.5, you probably will be on probation, even if the classes are US classes. And it is pretty serious, and we're, we are already talking about it with certain government funders. You know, it, how, how do we help students who are struggling? So there's that. If you get Fs or Ds, it's serious, um, and we'll probably get involved. Here's the other one, hashtag finish the Duolingo. Whatever needs to be done for you to get to your 110, for you to be done with the Duolingo, do whatever it takes. If it's flipping vocabulary cards, reading English books, speaking, practicing with friends, use English as much as you can to get this thing done. I know you guys have a test in a week, so good luck, I pray for you guys. I would love to see you guys finish the Duolingo. So fall and spring targets are the same, 2.5 GPA, A's and B's. And remember that we're looking to get 30 Escot S credits before you travel. And the goal for Corbin students is nine credits. We're taken in the fall term by most of you. Some of you have yet to take credit classes yet. But we're gonna do 12 credits in the spring and nine again in the summer. So if you had Corbin blended classes or tug classes last term, you had nine. In the spring, you'll take 12. In the summer, you'll take nine. And that means that's how you get to 30 credits. That's 30 credits exactly. So there is no room for you to fail even one of those classes. Otherwise, you will be delayed in going to the US. So may I say it again, do your best in your classes. But that means that you can calculate how many semesters till I travel to the US, right? But your spring target and your fall target is keep A's and B's, Pass your classes so you can get college credit.
And then again, if you haven't yet, get a 110 GP, get a 110, oh, it says GPA, it should be Duolingo by the end of the spring term, because you can't travel to US without the proper Duolingo score. That is a new rule from the funders. Before, in the first year, we sent students to the US who didn't have the 110 yet, but they won't do that anymore. So it's really important that you finish the Duolingo as fast as you can to give yourself as much time as you can. Okay. So you might have the question, when will I travel to the U.S.? Well, that depends. Do you have a 110 Duolingo? Because that would be the first step to make. What's your GPA? What's your grades like? And how many SKS do you have? And when does your government provider want to send you? Most government sponsors want people to do a year in Papua. And in fact, actually, I think all of them do right now. So my, those are going to be my main questions is, do you have a 110? Yes or no? Do you have a GPA that's good? Are you failing classes? If you're failing classes, I can't see the government being excited about sending you. How many SKS do you have? They have a minimum requirement of 30. So that's usually the targets for travel. 30 SKS, 110 Duolingo, keeping a 2.5 GPA and above, and then making sure that the government funding needs to be right. I add that because it's no one's fault, but of course we have had students start fly and leave fly because of government funding. And so whenever we talk about the future or the requirements, we should always say, if the Lord wills, if the funding is still there. So continue to focus on what you can focus on, which is passing classes with good grades and getting your English up to level. Here's another thing. I've been talking to the older students who are in the U.S. Stay focused right now, yes, and enjoy this year. You need to labor hard for A's and B's and not fall behind in classes. Yes, stay focused, disciplined, you know, all the stuff Phony tells you. But some students in the U.S. are loving it and having fun, but some students in the U.S. miss Papua and they find adjusting really challenging. And so that occurs to me that brothers and sisters, uh, you're in Papua still. You're still going to be here. And so I know you might be excited about the U.S., you know, ready to go. But enjoy this time. You know, enjoy doesn't mean don't focus. It means do both, focus and enjoy. Okay. One last slide. Some important dates for you to see. So this is the month of December, right? And so we're still in... Um, we're still in November, but um, after Thanksgiving week, we'll have the first week of uh, December and the second week. And this is the last day for Corbin classes here on the 10th. And so if you finish Corbin classes, finish your finals and check out with your dorm parent, there will be checkout procedures. You may leave fly starting on the 10th, but uh, you can stay as long as the 13th. All of you who are in Corbin, Fly, or Moody need to be gone by the 13th. This week, uh, Upeha students will still be here, and they're the only ones that are allowed to be there. Uh, and then, obviously, this uh, the week of Christmas, you can't be in the dorm. The week after Christmas, you can't be in the dorm. And then on the 4th, Upeha comes back, or they're in Jakarta. We'll see what the Lord does there. On January 10th, after 2 o'clock, Cohort 2, that's you guys, Corbin and Moody. This is when we want you back in the dorms with a SWEB test. Heading back to Kamiri. The NWEA test, I told you, we'll need to do it before school starts. That will be Tuesday 11th. We'll do that with government reports. And then Corbin starts the 13th. And, of course, um, Moody resumes on the 19th. These are the important dates to be aware of, everybody, okay? I think I got one more slide for Corbin students. Uh, we do have some idea of your classes. Uh, if you are a Tug student, you will have history, a Bible survey class with me, which is probably Old Testament or New Testament, college writing, and then you probably will have a math class, uh, but maybe it'll be science. Uh, blended students, those of you who are not yet Tug, you'll have an American history class as well, maybe a different one, an introduction to debate and an introduction to research writing and advanced reading. Those would be your Corbin classes, 12 credits. And then, of course, from Fly, applied leadership and maybe another seminar class. I know you guys really enjoyed uh, Bapa Yali's class on challenges within Papua. I have a few other really cool people that I'd like to see if they could do a simple class just to keep us thinking about servant leadership in Papua's future. And so uh, there will be more on that as we get closer. And then math. You guys might have some math tutoring or continued math class to get you up to level. 
those are the big announcements and some of the main things that I wanted you guys to be aware of. If you want to ask me a question about your situation, please do let me know. But my big takeaways is make sure you have a Christmas plan that you've scheduled, that you're taking care of that. Yes. Make sure you check out with your dorm parents. Make sure you know when you need to come back. See the schedule and do whatever you can to get good grades and to be done with the Duolingo. Thanks so much. I just saved us all an hour by doing it by video. Thanks for watching, probably at two times speed. I understand.